Negotiators are closing in on the terms to revive the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. Both the U.S. and Iran appear committed to securing the agreement in the days and weeks ahead. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has only intensified the negotiation process. However, Russian officials overseeing the negotiations are hampering the talks. They claim the West sanctions on Moscow are creating problems with the deal. So for more on this, let's bring in Henry Rome. He is the deputy head of research and the director of global macro politics and the Middle East at Eurasia Group. Henry, thank you so much for being with us. So how is the ongoing war in Ukraine impacting these nuclear talks between the U.S., Iran and whatever part Russia has in these talks? Well, it's really throwing a last minute wrench into the negotiations. The negotiators, um, by all accounts, were within days of locking down the revival of this agreement uh, when the, the Russians came out over the weekend throwing some new demands on the table, such that if U.S. sanctions on Iran are lifted through the agreement, the Russians want to ensure that they're able to benefit from that as well. And of course, they are under a series of crippling Western sanctions um, for their invasion of Ukraine. So it's really thrown a um, thrown a lot of uncertainty into the talks and created a lot of questions about the longevity uh, of these negotiations. Given all that, can this deal be completed without the Russian involvement? I think it can. It'll require a lot of creative thinking and diplomacy, and it will take time. The, the Russians play a really key role in implementing one part of the deal in particular, which is being the country that imports a lot of Iran's excess enriched uranium. And the, it's possible to find another country that would play that role. I think it really depends on whether Moscow just wants to take a step back and not be involved in the talks or whether it actively wants to try to destroy them. And there are other tools it could play if the latter uh, comes to play. And so, Henry, how would the implementation of a revived nuclear deal impact Tehran's exports? Could we see these negotiations expedited in order to create that needed influx of oil in the marketplace right now, as, of course, Russia remains exiled from a significant portion of the global economy? Yeah, it's a great question. And I think it's, it's one of the reasons that a lot more people than normal are paying attention to the Iran negotiations. You know, I... I think the negotiations themselves um, had a lot of momentum setting aside the Russian invasion and the pressure on oil prices, though it does provide an added incentive for the West to secure this, this agreement. Though I think it, 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 the invasion pushes in a lot of directions because as we've seen, it creates incentives for Russia to try to disrupt the negotiations. But if the talks are nailed down, I, I think you would expect uh, within several months more Iranian oil coming to the market. And within about a year, about a million barrels of additional Iranian uh, production. So that's that's meaningful. It doesn't totally offset by any means what, what could be coming in terms of sanctions uh, on Russian oil exports, but it does, would, but it would exert some downward pressure on oil prices. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Henry Rome from the Eurasia Group. We appreciate your insight. Thank you so much.